Uh, my research on day 31 shows me that the devil cannot look you in the eye but can tell you you can't do it and you'll believe him but Jesus looks you in the eye and says he can. So never listen to that silent Satan that exists in you that tells you shh you can't just don't even try because you can't. Just know that whatever it is you're trying to do you've already done it. Um, you will do it because you know you can do it right? Right. For me personally, the struggle has been my weight loss. Uh, I used to be 265, 270 pounds um, from high school all the way to 2008. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I just knew I was not living the optimum level that I should be living at, you know, just by what I'm putting into my body. So I slowly started to look at my behaviors and my self-esteem behind my behaviors, physical behaviors. So I started noticing that all of my behaviors are connected to my emotions. Subconsciously, we don't even realize that. But the level of energy that you have inside of you shows where you are mentally, spiritually, physically, and of course, emotionally. Um, if you're healthy in all those areas, you have all the energy in the world and you suck other people's energy. Now, I realize that when I feel confident, I work out, and then I feel more confident because I've worked out. But when I feel depressed, I eat. I eat, and I used to eat the worst foods, you know, that were not serving me, or my chakras, that were not giving me my optimum level of life. And eating was not, all, not my only uh, escape. I also had sleeping. I also had not sleeping. <laughs> I also had... So whatever it was I was escaping, I was just trying to escape because I was not comfortable within myself. So I was not living to my optimum level. But when I felt confident enough to discipline myself, I would work out. I had to feel confident enough to discipline. So I would feel confident, I would work out, and then I would double my confidence and self-esteem after my workout because I broke myself down. Nobody did it for me. And I know in breaking myself down, I am only building myself up to be stronger. So now I can stand up straight and face you with all the energy that I can generate and create myself. That is just the physical form of raising your frequency. The breath also connects the movement. So that's breath work and physical and another way is meditating or prayer. I do both. I pray to the Almighty, Jesus. And I also practice meditation on His Word, meditation of mindful meditation of my body when before I work out is excellent for that. Um, also, meditating is all about connecting to your subconscious mind, which is essentially your physical body. We cannot connect to a subconscious without letting go with the breath start letting go let go let go of everything good bad great horrible excellent everything let it go take like 18 deep breaths in and out deep deep um if you see that you can't let things go and you still have wandering thoughts, you know, and you can't let those go, I'll teach you right now. Uh, so these thoughts keep generating. So let's focus on one thought with the in-breath and the out-breath, okay? So now I hijack my mind and I'm telling my mind, no, hold on, I'm going to give you a thought. Stop wandering, I'm going to give you a thought to meditate on. So the thought, let's say I'm deciding on is on to let it go. So let it go. Let it. So I'll put on 528 frequency or 432 frequency and repeat. Let it go. Let it fucking go. <laughs> yeah, I get angry, dude. I don't get angry. I get frustrated because it's so hard to let go. That letting go is the hardest part about it, you know? but it is essential to let it go. All judgment, 
self-judgment, judging of yourself, judging yourself, judging others. Let it go. Let it go. Shh. Um, hardest practice ever, ever, ever I've had to do is to let it go because we are constantly holding it in, dude. Constantly processing and holding. So I used to think that holding it in and not expressing how I felt right at that moment was the right thing to do. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so all those suppressing thoughts, man, all those suppressing emotions and feelings I harnessed inside of me. And that's negative energy. Depression. So, um, subconsciously, I started to self-medicate by escaping, by eating, watching TV. You know, as a kid or a young teen, you don't even think of these things. Like, you know, why did I eat so much? Because I was... That was my escape, you know? And then that turned into a whole dark, another dark escape, which we'll get into another day. But the point is my physical behaviors showed and my physical form showed what I was going through mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, hell. But I slowly started to realize that when I feel confident, I should work out because it's only gonna give me more confidence. So just a, just a little, you know, frequency 101, that's how, that's how your energy within you works. Be happy, dude, live like the wow kid that you used to be. <laughs> and so the next time I hear that quiet Satan say, shh, you can't do it. I'm gonna be like, hi, my name is Emin, I work with Jesus, and he says, I can. Oh uh, yeah, Germany, my homeland, hello, hi. Alemania. If you always have a mindset that you are at your worst position right now, you only set yourself up to become the best. in the sun and have some fun got a little voice a little fella right here Eddie Cronky <laughs> right here Highest bitter <laughs> I come with green eyes so you Highest bitter that would be me <laughs> Green eyes bitter we are on another journey, epic journey, to bring in the sun. Wait, bring what beach are we going to? Huntington. Venice. Journey woman. What was Journey, your name? Tatiana, bitch. Tatiana, bitch. What's up? We're on a journey on this quest for the sun. Yes, I do have to include the sun. The frequency of 126 hertz, which does not hurt, but heals. Heals. Look at Come our beautiful on. captain. Lit your fucking captain up, bitch. Ah. Ow. Yeah.
put me on the spot. I can't do it. Mm, here in Venice, beautiful night, enjoying life, chilling. I don't know where Arby went. <laughs> Wait, wait, where are you going, RV? I'm not going anywhere. I'm a good boy. <laughs> what did you say? I said I want to retire when I'm 25. So I need to. I only have six years to do it and be a multimillionaire. Let him know, dude. Live your dream. That's what I'm talking about. I just keep on smoking and doing this, man, every day. Then I go and trap. Then I go and trap with my own thoughts. And then go into the back. Then these little girls. So my journey brought us here to Venice and we met these awesome, awesome people like minds here in Venice. Here. <laughs> you gonna take me holding out fat bottom girls, you got the rock and roll go round. Oh, you gonna take me home tonight. Oh, I'm dying. How am I driving? I'm not even driving. Am I driving? <laughs> What the fuck? Why is it raining? Did we do a rain dance? I think we did a rain dance. I think we did. <laughs>